Voters in the nine European common market countries are taking part in a venture that could change the face of European politics. The election on June the 7th and 10th of a new European Parliament. There already is a European Parliament. It's part of the European Economic Community, the official name of the common market, and it sits alternatively in Strasbourg and in Luxembourg. The outgoing assembly has 198 members, and they're appointed on a part-time basis by their party headquarters at home. The big new development is that the massive electorate of the common market states, 180 million voters in total, are for the first time going to elect their own European members of parliament. It's the first parliamentary election ever on an international scale. In theory, the new European Parliament will only have the same powers as the old one. These are basically the right to reject the EEC budget and to dismiss the 13 members of the administrative body, the European Commission, on a vote of censure. In the past, the Parliament has defied the executive over the budget. Earlier this year, it won an increase of more than $400 million for helping the EEC's poorer regions. Sacking the Brussels-based commission, the chief bureaucrats, isn't considered very practical. They could all be reappointed by the executive. But in any event, the new parliament's expected to seek an extension of its present powers. ...be made available to help, because if I may take the Crook and St. Helens Auckland case, it is in an area where already male unemployment is well into the teens. The next assembly will be well equipped to stand up to the Commission bureaucrats and the Council of Ministers executives. Firstly, because of its increased size, and secondly, because its members will generally be experienced parliamentarians who have been directly elected with a clear responsibility to the people who voted for them. Also, in five years, there'll be fresh elections. So anyone who wants to be re-elected will have to show that something positive has been achieved. Would the Commission be more aggressive in its approach to these multinationals, more particularly in view... Political cooperation within the EEC is one of its original guiding principles. But any move to give the Euro MPs wider powers would meet some opposition from member states, in particular France where the questions of national sovereignty and supranationality are still contentious political issues. A Labour government in Britain could also have been expected to agree with the French here. But Mrs Thatcher's Conservatives are more committed to the European ideal. They are hoping to win the Euro elections in Britain as comfortably as they won the recent general elections. So the British, like the Italians, are voting for two different parliaments within a few weeks. And some Britons are still not sure what it's all about. Yes, well, it's the European election. I'm just are you sir. interested in it? Yes, very much so. What do you think the main issues are? Well, I, I would think that putting a stronger foot into uh, Europe can only come from putting a, a parliament represented from the people of this country into Europe. Thank you very much. You yes, it does. What do you think the main issues are? Whether we should remain in the common market or not. What do you think are the main issues in the European elections? In the European elections? Whether we stay in or go out. Thank you. What do you say the main issues are? Whether we stay in the common market or not. Okay. Whether we stay in? Yes. Uh, um, it's a question for if you think you're going to stay in, then you'll vote. And if you, you know, it's, uh, and if you don't, then probably you won't vote. I would think Thank you very much. Uh, probably the, the green pound is one of the things um, which most people would be worried about and, the, and its effect on food prices. Will you vote the same way you voted in the general election? Probably, but I want to know more about it first, so I shall start reading the, the advertisements going out in the press now. Agreement on the principle Agreement of holding the, the first elections the first was signed by the nine foreign, the nine foreign ministers of the European, of the European Community in community September 1976. 1976. They made the spring of 78 the target date for polling day. Georges Spinali the was the president of, of the European Parliament at the time and welcomed the agreement as a milestone in the building of Europe. 
Each of the nine national parliaments then went ahead with the necessary legislation. So in each and national the Copenhagen parliament, summit the in April 1978, the ministers settled on an election and date the they could all meet. June 1979, they settled on an election date they could all meet. June this agreement was reported to Parliament by the Danish Foreign Minister K. B. Andersen, speaking for the Council of Ministers. On behalf of the European Commission, Roy Jenkins welcomed the news. I want simply to underline our welcome for the introduction of a new democratic dimension to the institutions of our community. And the the current president of parliament, of parliament Emilio Colombo, Colombo said the, the first responsibility ahead. was to make sure that the electorate, Probably especially the young voters, now regard the community as a body that, that can tackle real political the problems. Voters, the president is elected by the deputies a for a one-year renewable term. The but the 198 the deputies themselves have not, until now, been directly elected by the people. They've been nominated by the various parliaments of the community states. The community's structure is divided into three parts. Parliament, this the Commission European and the Council Parliament, of Ministers. Backed by the authority Parliament, Parliament debates ideas committee. proposed by the Commission the while European the real Commission. decisions about legislation are taken by the Council, the Council of Ministers. Of Ministers. But no That's decision can ever be taken without discussion by all three bodies. To simplify, let's say that no single decision can ever be taken the Council in the name is the of voice Europe of the governments without of the due nine member nations. Between all of these bodies. Here, all the major the policies are decided of the on, in of the trade, regional aid, At this farm stage policy, in the European and so on. Story, all the decisions, except over finance, are the made ministers here. draft the on community's trade, budget on all aid, these matters farm policy, after studying so proposals on. made by the Commission. Even so, it is the European Finally, Commission the budget is sent to Parliament for, for approval. Action, which they send to both Council and Parliament for detailed examination. In Six cases, languages, nine, nine nations, in a, in a European, European community of 260 million, 260 million people. And That's more the than the population of either the United States work. or the Soviet Union. In the chamber itself, Parliament's the president, president sits facing the deputies, the but the deputies the don't sit in national nations, blocks. But they do As not at home, they blocks. sit within their own political home, party grouping, political alongside party. foreign colleagues who share their European political philosophy. Political this arrangement helps to ensure that debates are focused on issues, not national attitudes. The existing parliament divides into the six, existing political, parliament groups, divides into six political groups, members. plus a few independent the members. In a semicircle. Facing the president in a semicircle from, from left to right, right, they are the, the communists, communists their and their allies, allies the, the socialists, socialists, the Christian, the Christian Democrats, Democrats, the European, European Progressive, Progressive Democrats, Democrats, the European Conservatives, Conservatives the Liberal, the and, liberal Democratic and Democratic group, group and, of course, the independents. and the independents. So far, representation is closely proportional so far, to the strength the of the parties in the national the parliaments. Way Europeans vote in but this national June, parliamentary and elections. for every five years afterwards, but in June the people of the community will directly decide the political makeup the of their the European parliament. The people of the community will decide directly the makeup of their European parliament. Elections will give greater authority to Parliament. The long-awaited milestone of direct elections won't bring any immediate changes in the powers of the European Parliament, languages. but they will give the Parliament the a new authority, a mandate of the people of Europe. Committees of Parliament. These deputies, they if they're elected, will be accountable not to governments back home, but to the, the people who voted for them. Together in committee, they examine new European rules and regulations. Most of the day-to-day -day work of Parliament is done in the 12 specialised the committees. The voter, they, ask, they include members from all nine community sensible? countries and, and from the six political groups and the independents. The, European community. the first committee the first covers committee political covers affairs. Political affairs. The, second the second concerns, concerns itself, itself with legal, legal questions. questions. Another, then economic, economic and, monetary and monetary affairs. affairs. Generally. Then there's the, the Budgets, Budgets committee, committee, with its, with its control, control subcommittee. subcommittee. One for social affairs, affairs employment, and employment and education. Agriculture, One for agriculture and food, food prices. prices. Regional, policy, Regional policy, planning, planning and, and transport. transport. 
the environment, health and consumer protection, energy and research, external economic relations, development and cooperation with the third world, and rules of procedure and petitions submitted to parliament. Committee work often involves the European Committee Commission or the Council of Ministers. The European so Commission meetings the are Council generally of held in Brussels, the usual base for the Council and Commission. So meetings are usually held in Brussels, where the Council and Commission are mostly based. But Parliament, the Council Parliament, and Commission, Council in and fact, Commission have, have no fixed, fixed home. home. So, so far, Member, member states, states have agreed to agreed share to out the work among three, three cities. cities. As well as working well as in Brussels, Brussels Parliament's Secretariat is also located in Luxembourg, because that's where Luxembourg, half the parliamentary sittings, half the sittings are held. Are held. Parliament itself Parliament also meets, meets in Strasbourg, at the, at the Palace, Palace of, of Europe, Europe, for six, for six weeks, weeks in every, every year. year. It's a but costly and cumbersome system no in which efficiency Members sometimes suffers. Files packed away after the end of a sitting in Strasbourg so on Friday must be waiting on Monday morning Strasbourg in another Friday, office 240 kilometers away in Luxembourg. In another office 150 miles away in Luxembourg to be unloaded and worked on until the next move. And as long as the elected as long parliament as the elected has to commute between, commute Brussels, between Brussels, Luxembourg, and Luxembourg and Strasbourg, it will, it will need elaborate facilities in all three in all cities, cities for its 410, 410 new members. It's also a sore point with many of the deputies themselves. They live out of suitcases for weeks on end, in one hotel after another. This was one of the first criticisms made by Dutch member Peter Dankert, whom we followed on one of his typical working days. Dankert has to attend at both Parliament buildings in Luxembourg and Strasbourg and dislikes the frequent travelling between the two. More than that, he's often in Brussels for various committee meetings and if he had his way, Parliament would be there too. Here, he's attending a meeting of the Parliament's socialist group. This multinational grouping across the political spectrum doesn't just occur in the assembly. It is vigorously developed outside the chamber, as delegates who share basically the same beliefs try to frame a common approach to issues before they are formally debated. On now to the European Parliament itself. First, signing in. This entitles deputies to generous expenses. Many of the present deputies are hoping to be elected to the new assembly. And their recent success in getting an increase in the EEC budget has given them a taste for more power in the future. In particular, they have their eyes set on the community's common agricultural policy, or CAP for short. At present, under the Treaty of Rome, the EEC's founding document, the CAP is defined as essential expenditure. It's therefore the domain of the Council of Ministers. The ministers, of course, argue for their own country's interests, which is why their talks often lead to deadlock. The next assembly hopes to expand its influence in the coming years and eventually to control the CAP budget and so food prices throughout the community. Parliament would clearly regard that as a triumph for democracy over bureaucracy. Big changes, then, are hoped for in the future, and not before time, in the opinion of many deputies. Like Mr. Dankert, they have often felt a sense of frustration and lack of purpose under the old system. Well, it's not a parliament in the first place. In the second place, uh, there are not many parliamentarians in it. And in the third place, it, it does not have the real competence, it cannot have the real competence of a parliament, simply because there is no government to control. A hint of disillusionment, perhaps, and enthusiasm has varied among member states and different political parties, though all acknowledge they can only benefit from closer ties with their European colleagues. These are European election posters put out by Britain's Liberals. They look with envy towards the continent, 
where, unlike in Britain, the Mr. proportional Steve, representation system is used, favouring the smaller parties in the distribution of seats. Well, I think we'll need a brief break. Even so, election. Britain's Liberals remain confident pass, about the June voting. After all, Europe's exciting. Europe's about the future. And the whole question of Britain's relations with our other partners in the European community is, a, is an interesting question. And the Liberal Party is full of people who are very committed to the European idea. Now, you and the other men... Britain's Conservatives are preparing to swing the United Kingdom back to a right-of-centre course. And they want enough seats in Europe to exert a similar influence there. But, uh, I hope the result will be a return of a substantial number of Conservative uh, members in the European Assembly. Uh, they must take this opportunity of trying to stand for a Europe which is at peace. A Europe which has an opportunity for more trade. A Europe with a bit more common sense, rather less bureaucracy, rather more thinking of the great issues than the small ones. These are the sort of causes which the Conservatives will stand for. Although there's no great enthusiasm... Now a Labour Party spokesman gives his opinion. I take a very simple view on this. Apart from the fact it's vital that we do have Labour representatives across in Europe in order to carry through the reforms we want, apart from that, Wherever our political opponents, the Conservatives, rear their head, we're going to hit them hard, and our constituency parties will be wanting to do that. Parties. Whatever the Many criticisms or compliments of British candidates, whatever their hopes views. and aspirations, there is one Here's British parliamentary practice that has been adopted by Europe. Question doors, time. And the it was first introduced in 1973 to give to the deputies the opportunity of discussing events of topical interest of with those responsible in for framing the policies. Idea a reality. At interest of the electorate. At question time, the commissioners face cross-questioning by deputies acting in the, the interests of the public. All of if them. Parliament isn't satisfied with the commissioners, too, it does Parliament have the power to sack and all 13 of them. Debates on urgent deputies can demand and obtain rights, emergency and debates on urgent issues, such as human the rights, of the disasters like earthquakes, or coastline pollution by leaking tankers. This last question was the subject of a public hearing held in Paris by the Regional Policy, Planning and Transport Some Committee, of the parliamentary sessions are particularly interesting. How to avoid At times, Europe's members of Parliament sit alongside delegates from more than 50 nations in Africa, the Caribbean Committee and the Pacific. These developing like countries Europe's are linked with the community by the Nome Convention from for Trade and Aid. In Africa, this partnership with Europe was created to offer these, these third world countries a market and a fair price for the raw materials trade. they produce. Regular meetings help this both sides to work together in adapting to the system, countries, so as to protect their mutual interests in a world economy that's produce. constantly changing. Parliament the new parliament 410 of 410 members. members will consist of 81, 81 representatives from each, each of the four, four big countries, countries Germany, Germany, France, France Britain, Britain and, and Italy, 25, 25 from the Netherlands, Netherlands. 24, 24 from Belgium, from Belgium. 16, 16 from Denmark, from Denmark. 15, 15 from, Ireland from Ireland and 6 from Luxembourg. And six from Luxembourg. It will meet in July 1979 and sit for five years. This Parliament will During meet in time, July 1979 During that time, it will propose a common for procedure years. for Europe's second During community that elections time, to be held in will 1984. propose a common procedure for Europe's... ...will extend the democratic ideal which found its Elections first expression in Europe. Elections are the democratic ideal which first found expression in Europe... ...despite many ...and which has endured over the centuries has endured as a model the centuries, for the rest of the world. ...as a model for the rest of the world to follow. In June 1979, now, in 1979 democracy, democracy becomes international... Democracy will cross ...and the people of Europe frontiers. take a hand in shaping their community. In the European task, community, to there are 260 million men, nation, women and children... ...more than either of the United States or of the Soviet Union. Next June at the polling stations, the people of Europe will at last take a hand in shaping the community.